Hi, I'm Coach Nate. This is another Destroy the Baseball video newsletter. The topic of today's newsletter is to hit the ball your hardest, you must find core stress when you load. Now, I got an email today from a young man named Stefan, who I know through a mutual friend and who I have seen play in the past and he's expressing to me some concern about his ability to hit the ball further and better as he grows. So I'm going to go through his email and I think point out something that he might be missing that's super important and I believe the number one responsibility for a hitter in their preparation uh, preparing to compete in a live game. But first I have a quote for you. And the quote reads, The hitter's goal is always to bring as much body energy from the core to the baseball at contact as possible. To maximize this core energy, the hitter must create tension in the core area of his body on the load. So Stefan's email. Dear Coach, I am turning 15 and about to play my first season in high school. Exciting times. I loved high school baseball. It was uh, some great memories. Still have them. I didn't play in a lot of the better little leagues in town. I was a rec ball player, so stepping up to high school was quite an event for me. Playing in the big time. So good luck with that, Stefan. It's my first time on the big field with the 90-foot bases and the 300-foot fences. I am bigger each year and have been lifting weights for the last eight months. But I am worried because I don't hit the ball as far or as hard as the other guys I play with. Guys I used to be better than when I played Little League. Can you help me? Signed, Stefan. Stefan, the secret sauce to hitting the ball harder and further is something that is wholly within any hitter's control. The hitter must understand that the power from his swing comes from the body energy he can create in his core, which is really the area that is running from the mid-thighs to the center of his uh, Mid, mid section up to about his chest. That is your power source. So the hitter must create what I call a slingshot effect or a power band or as I have called it a rocket band effect in his core and take that to the baseball to maximize his power. That is the hitter's responsibility. He must find that in his preparation work. So my advice to you would be when you are getting into the aspect of working in practice, you must find that power band with each rep that you do. Now, how is that done from a technical point of view? Well, I'm going to set down my dog here and give you a demonstration. The key is every time the hitter will load, of course, when the pitcher's leg goes up and the arm goes back to deliver the ball. So the hitter must get to a still position with his hands retreat as far, as far back as possible. And at the same time, the hitter will want to have his front foot going softly forward. Or, in many cases, the hitter starts off with a wider stance and then only brings the hands back. There's a couple different styles there. The point is, when the hitter gets to this low position, he must feel the core stress, the core tension that's created by the separation of this, the hands and the feet. So when he gets to his load, he must feel this every time. It's a tension, it's a very definite feeling like there is something like a slingshot that is about to be released at the ball. The hitter takes that to the baseball with a powerful hip transition, that strong front leg, 
and creates magic. It's really that simple. But the hitter must practice and gain this muscle memory of the power band or the core stress. Now, if you found today's video of value, please subscribe to my channel for future updates, uh, new videos coming out. Share this video with anyone you feel could benefit from what we talked about today. Please leave comments. This is an open community designed to get to the best answers possible for our hitters and bring them fully alive when they hit a baseball. Also, you can always send me your player's video from a game or practice and I will send you back a full report analysis along with an action plan of drills to move your hitter forward 100% free. And as always, I'd like to remind you this is a free community and donations equal to the value you feel you've received from today's uh, video newsletter are always welcome. To leave that donation, go to www.destroythebaseball.com and click the donate button in the upper right hand corner and your donation we made through PayPal. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Have a great one.